This is the last of a three-part series on single factor ANOVA. Here we're going to look at comparison of means in order to sort of determine which of the treatment levels are significantly different from one another. Remember, ANOVA just tells you if there is a difference in treatment. It doesn't tell you which of the treatments are different from one another. So in the previous screencast, we worked through creating this ANOVA table. We got this p-value here for the treatments of 3.66 times 10 to the negative seventh. And that just tells you the p-value is so small that there definitely is a difference between treatments on burrito mass. I wanted to show you quickly how we can use the ANOVA tool, the data analysis ANOVA tool, to perform this single factor ANOVA. So let's do that real quick. If you go up here to the data tab, data analysis, and you go all the way up to the top, ANOVA single factor, click OK. We can do our input range. We just put in all of our 20 observations, and you have to denote whether it's grouped by columns or rows. Our treatments are grouped by columns, so I'm going to make sure that columns is selected. I'm going to put this into a new worksheet. I'm going to click OK, and it goes through, and it creates that ANOVA table, the, exactly what we just did. So this is a really easy way to uh, perform ANOVA in Excel is just to use that data analysis tool. So again, ANOVA determines that there are differences in the factor, also known as the treatment levels. The next step is to determine which levels are different. There are a number of different methods for doing this. Minitab offers several. Um, you're going to do this in Minitab in one of the workshops. The text presents something known as Fisher's LSD method, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do here. So for each of the pairwise comparisons, if we have four different restaurants, there's going to be six different comparisons that we can make. For each of the individual comparisons, we can set up a hypothesis here. The null hypothesis is that the means of those two that we're comparing is the same. The alternate is that the means are not the same. In order for us to accept the alternate, we have to set up a test. We base this on the T distribution. Our test statistic is the treatment average of group I, that's yi dot bar, minus the treatment average of group J, yj dot bar, divided by the square root of 2 times MSE, this is uh, the mean squared error that you calculate in your ANOVA table, divided by N. And if this test statistic, if the absolute value of this test statistic is greater than T alpha divided by 2 with capital N minus A degrees of freedom, then you would accept the alternate. We can also define the something known as the least significant difference. This is LSD. That's basically back calculating out what the difference between yi dot bar and yj dot bar has to be in order for us to accept the alternate and show that the means are different between those two groups that we are comparing. And so really we're just solving here for that difference and that's known as the least significant difference. And then we check our pairwise comparisons to see if the absolute value is greater than LSD. If that's true, then we can accept the alternate and we can claim that those means of those two groups are different. So let's do this in Excel. I'm continuing on where I left off on the previous screencast. We're going to do Fisher pairwise comparisons here. First of all, let's calculate a few things. We need to calculate a T value that we're going to be using for comparison. That's T dot INV dot 2T alpha, the degrees of freedom, big N minus A, so that's 2.119. We can calculate MSE. MSE is just the mean squared of our error from our ANOVA table. That's 789. N, I'm just going to type in equals N because we've already defined that. I've also named this cell MSE and this cell T. We can go ahead and calculate our least significant difference that we would have to have in order to accept the alternate and claim that those pairwise comparisons, those, those pairs are different from one another. This is just T times the square root of two times MSE divided by little n, about 38. And now let's go in here. I'm just going to in here calculate the differences. For example, this first cell is going to be the difference in means between illegal peats and Qdoba. I can do that by going over here to our averages. These are our treatment averages. So I can do B10 and I'm going to do the absolute value. So that's B10 minus C10. So that's 148. That's the difference between those two means. And I'll just real quick do the same thing. 
Uh, I'll just do one more example here. This would be the difference between illegal peats and Qdoba number two, about 68. So I've done that real quick. Now we can compare these differences to our LSD. Remember, if we exceed the LSD, then that means we can claim that those two pairs that we're comparing are different. Qdoba number one and illegal peats, we have 149. That's definitely larger than our LSD. And so we would claim then that those are different. So I'm going to put a, a green there. So there's definitely a difference between those two. We would accept the alternate hypothesis. The only one that we wouldn't accept is actually the difference between illegal peats and chipotle because that does not exceed the LSD. And so this is Fisher's pairwise comparison. You can, you can compare those. ANOVA tells us that there is a difference, and then we can use kind of the uh, combined data as a whole, the mean squared error as a whole, combined with a t-test to do these pairwise comparisons. So hopefully you learned a little bit more about pairwise comparisons in this screencast. Thanks for watching.